I say bananas, you say peppers, and you guys, today it is finally time for a stationary hurl. Today we have some very exciting items. It's not all from like one website. It's not just from like Amazon Japan or Jet Pins. So you guys, I maybe even have more stuff than I should show in one video today. But let's see if I can show it all to you guys. It's like actually in a box behind me, but you guys, I wanted to dress fashionably today. I wanted to dress cute. Okay, okay. look, this is like a lush tin. <gasps> you guys, I'm in the process right now of like putting away the Halloween stuff finally. It is, we are like, days away from Thanksgiving at this point. Winter is a time, you guys, when I just, uh, I'm not comfortable. I never am, you know, because it's like you start out cold, you put on long sleeves, you're like, yes, that is appropriate for cold weather. But then it's like the lighting, the heating, and then I am sweating. And I'm like, you know what? You could have just worn a t-shirt. You could have just worn a t-shirt. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna change into a t-shirt. Like I said, I'm a mess. More stuff today than maybe we're gonna get to in one video because literally what, what they, they, I feel like 23 highlighters is probably enough for one video. So up first, this is a website I've never ordered from before. It's called Pen Boutique or maybe Pen Boutique Limited. Uh, but I saw this. And I'm not gonna lie, I actually saw it on Jet Pins first, but it was sold out. And uh, I have not done an advent calendar in a thousand years. It is an ink advent calendar. How interesting is that? And I also thought it was awesome that there's actually 25 days. So you can do it for the whole month leading up to Christmas. I feel like that's why sometimes I'm like not as excited about advent calendars is it's just like 12 days or like 14 days or like some random number. But this is actually 25 different inks in here. I don't know how large they're gonna be. I'm actually planning on doing this every single day on my Snapchat story. So there will be like a little video of me testing out the ink. And that's actually like the other thing I can go ahead and show you guys. I actually got these on Amazon refillable because that's what I was like looking for is like, how am I gonna test out 25 different inks? But I actually found these like mega packs where they come with these little like felt things and you can suck up the inks in these, you guys probably know how this works, uh, but you suck up the inks in the little felt things and then, you know, you can write with them. So I got enough packs to do, my stomach is growling. I got enough packs to do every single ink with a different pin. There was one other item that I got from the Pin Boutique Limited. And you guys, I have had my eyes on this forever. And it kind of goes with another item, two other items I have down here. I think that this is even a brand that y'all recommended to me before. Swibby, didn't y'all tell me to get a pen like this? This is also a pen that you fill up with ink, which I'm trying to get more into that, honestly, because it does seem really fun and fascinating to me. You guys, they, they sealed this very well. You guys can probably guess immediately why I got this. Can y'all, can y'all guess? Maybe you can't see that well because I'm trying to keep it from falling out, but look at this. You guys, it is a glow in the dark pen. They even have a glow in the dark purple version, but I just could not pass up. And it honestly is a little larger in person than I thought it would be. And normally I love that. I love the pens to be thicker. I also got a broad tip because I told y'all before, I do really like when the ink is like, I always say when the ink is spilling out more, but you know what I mean? I don't like a super fine line. Like the only time that 
that I've ever liked that in my life is probably the Sharpie fine tip. Like when Sharpie came out with the pens versus just the Sharpie markers. Honestly, I did think I was going to be able to fill this like super easily on the fly in this video. But you guys, I think I need to like learn how to use all of the tools. There's like this wrench kind of tool and it looks like some kind of cleaning liquid maybe. So I feel like I need to do a whole other video where I just like fill these kinds of ink pens. Uh, so that is the next thing that I guess I will just show y'all really quick and maybe I can even do like a messy like dip my finger in the ink kind of swatch. I do have our official swatching pad here on hand. So I have wanted this ink forever. I somehow, thankfully, got thrown into a world on Instagram where like my Instagram feed, my like suggested posts and stuff are people with Hobonichis. People who like have the most perfect looking Hobonichi weekly layout uh, that I could never probably have the time, patience, or focus to do. So that is where I saw this brand of pen actually combined with this ink. I think that the original poster, which I cannot remember now who it was, they had this ink loaded and that kind of pen, but then I saw they had a glow in the dark version and all bets were off. All right, but this ink is called Gummy Berry, which I like that. It looked like it was gonna be a very beautiful, I don't know if I would say fuchsia, but kind of like a purple. It's gonna show you exactly what it is. I was trying to say this is like a very small, I think home brand of ink, but I think that they actually are sold on many stationary sites. I found it, interestingly enough on Amazon, but it did come from like, you know, like an Amazon seller. It wasn't available like just through Amazon. I think it was on jet pens. I think it sold out. So I thought that that would be really fun to use in the glow in the dark pen. It just gave me like Halloween vibes. So the other item that kind of goes hand in hand in line with all of this stuff, I feel like we're just gonna be doing that with this video. It's like a stream of consciousness, stationary supplies. It's kind of like if you give a mouse a cookie, uh, like one thing feeds into another thing. Hobonichi, I've been talking a lot about that already. Hobonichi, I am committing to another Hobonichi planner next year, which honestly, you guys, I, I go through phases, if I'm being honest. Like I get so excited to use my Hobonichi. I'm doing it every day. I can hardly wait, literally, until I can start like the next week's spread. And then like, you guys, sometimes I will go a month and I will not write a single thing down. Is anybody else like that? Now I feel guilty for not using it, but I don't feel like it's like worth the time to like retroactively go back and try and like write a bunch of stuff in a planner. <laughs> uh, so you guys, I, I feel like I've mostly been that way with Hobonichis, but I really like like them, but I don't know. I feel like the week's style is maybe not like best for me. So this is the Hobonichi Techo. I always want to call it Hobonichi Techno. Hobonichi Techo. This is actually the English edition and this is the one page per day cousin. So that's what I was about to say is I feel like I kind of get messed up or I fall off of using the week's planner just cause it doesn't have enough space in it for me. I definitely need like a whole page probably. Eat, will that be enough? I don't know. We'll find out this year. You guys, I kind of thought that I was going to get like trapped into using the weeks again because you guys know me. I love Pickles the Frog and Hobonichi. I guess I missed out on one year or two or two years of this. Every year they made a pickles themed Hobonichi planner, but they only offered it in the week style. So I wanted to get the pickles planner so much that I sacrificed usability maybe to have like a cute cover design, which maybe just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So I'm, I'm nervous and I'm excited. I do not like the cover on this one. So I am planning on doing a custom cover and I will share more details of that with you guys in a future video. This was like no, no options here for a cover. Don't like that. It's kind of like a pale white yellow. I don't know. 
I don't like it. Can you tell by my face? I don't like it. Uh, but look at this, you guys. I do like this. A whole day. A whole day just to write down many, many things. I feel like, once again, that is how I get out of using the Hobonichi Weeks Planner is I kind of would like just start writing other things in other things and then I wouldn't like get back to the planner. I didn't have enough room. You guys, I kind of feel like I'm going to make another video in the future kind of like getting supplies for this Hobonichi Planner. Usually every single year I make like a Hobonichi themed video, but I did just want to wait and unbox this with you guys, but we, we shall talk further about it later. However, there's more. There's another item that goes with this item. Labels. So I started out actually thinking, once again, I was thinking for the weeks that there would be enough space. I wanted to start like in, in my planner every single day, I wanted to start printing off a photo from that day. You know, like I'm a very like photo driven person, but I feel like now, like especially in the super technological age, I have phones with so many photos on them, but I don't just like scroll back through very often and look at the photos. And I never like carry the pictures, like my pictures like stay on my older phones. Does that make any sense? Probably not. So basically I take a ton of pictures, but I never really like look at them and I never really like print them out. So what am I doing it for? I don't know. So I wanted to start putting a photo a day into the Hobonichi Weeks planner. Hobonichi Weeks, very, very small space. So I started out getting these labels that I thought would be perfect. And I have an example here of a sheet that I tried to do this on, you guys. But the problem was, for whatever reason, Avery does not support these tiny square. They have no template for a Mac for this thing. So I tried my best. As you guys can see, it did not print out very well. I never ended up using them because they were like super messy. I don't know what I'm gonna use these square labels for now, but it is certainly not the Hobonichi Weeks planner. So here are labels that I had originally bought to use for the Halloween trick-or-treat bags, but I ran out of time, but I'm hoping that I can print off circular pictures. Very interesting. I'm just basically going to try and use these first because I already have them. Um, and we'll see like, oh no, no, probably not. You guys, this is like, this is huge. Can y'all see these circles? Is there an actual size on here? Yeah, actual size. Look at that. Too big. I'm going to have to find a happy medium. What will I use these for? Halloween next year? Maybe. Two quick things, actually many quick things I can show you guys are these things. I wanted to get a smaller binder to start doing Swamp Family Mail in, like the most recent letters, some to write back to, some to just peruse. That's what I was thinking of this binder for. I think I got this on regular Amazon. This I know I got from Amazon Japan. Talk about this all the time. I discovered this product, I think my very first Jet Pens haul. Uh, the brand is La Hit Lab and the product is called Aqua Drops. So this I thought I could use for a ton of different purposes. It's kind of like an album that you can like flip through. So honestly, maybe this would be better for Swamp Family Mail. There's just like a limited number of sheets in this. This is called the Twinkle Aqua Drops Jumped Into Your Clear Book. There's 40 pockets in here, but I couldn't get this colorway on like Amazon here for the States. Normally I use the Lahit Labs Aqua Drops notebooks every single day. I've gone through so many of them since I discovered them a couple of years ago. And I mean, I just love everything about them. I feel like I should be able to more in-depthly describe why I like them so much, but the paper just always has a really nice feel to it. Like it just feels very 
luxurious, luxurious paper. This is something I'm just gonna like flash by just cause I did just mention all the Lihit Labs Aqua Drops. You guys know that I've been trying to really get back into junk journaling lately. I've been doing a little bit of it, but I'm just trying to think like, what can I do? What can I put it in without having like a different planner? And I feel like I have so many things now to write down in an actual planner that I should not use my planner also as a junk journal. That's what I used to do. So I got for the Aqua Drops. This is from Amazon Japan. It is supposed to be a Lihit Labs Aqua Drops hole punch. And you can um, shift it to a whole bunch of different sized papers because the Aqua Drops come in a couple of different sizes like A5, B5, like those different kinds of papers. But uh, the Aqua Drops do have rectangular holes and you can also buy like um, loose spirals like in the Lihit Labs Aqua Drops series as well. So yeah, I don't really have anything right now to punch, nor did I remember to bring a Aqua Drops notebook into this room. So, but it's a hole punch. Couple more things that kind of go either with the Aqua Drops notebooks or the planner, or let's keep the stream of consciousness going as we sippy sippy. Um, These tabs which I know that these have been in at least one other stationary haul video. They are my favorite. I feel like I have repurchased these two or three times now. I don't know that Avery is probably gonna unfortunately keep making this design, but they are so pretty. So they're just like tabs. And I've used these in a bunch of different things, books, planners, notebooks, but just look at the sparkle, so pretty. So I wanted to get both sets. I'm looking at it now and I thought that one of the tabs, like one of the sets of these tabs was, had like larger tabs in it. Okay, so they are slightly different. I was like, wait, so that's the confusing thing. The tab size is the same as the last ones I just showed you, but like, look, these are like really slim and long and these are more chunky. I don't know, I got it because there was a different hollow pattern in here. So um, that's why I bought both sets and I do use these so frequently trying to like sort them out so I can show you guys all the different hollow patterns. So you do just get like this one, which is also really pretty. So that's why I bought both sets. Now I'm wondering if you get more and you guys, 16 or 18. That's interesting. You do get slightly less of these, but you get another design. You guys, they're on Amazon. They're not that expensive. If you need some tabs, these are probably the prettiest ones you will ever see. Uh, this is actually from an Etsy store, but I got this for my Hobonichi planner. I actually did purchase this with my current one in mind, but I do think it will be suited more for the, the new one, the daily one I just showed you guys. Cause it's actually, it's, it's pretty thick. Can you guys see what this is? I'm gonna unroll some of it just so I can really fully show you guys the pattern. I thought that this was like just too funny. Look at this. It's supposed to be butter, but look, it's like to get one single print, like look at that. It's actually, you would use all that tape. So they had salted and unsalted butter. I've seen this product sell out on Etsy several times. Oh no, now it's rolling up. I was hoping to be able to conserve this tape uh, to actually like use it in my planner. So the blue one was for salted butter. They also have it in a red print. It looks really the same except for it says unsalted butter. But yeah, I thought that this was like just really cool and unique washi tape. I wish I could find more like this, but I don't know what to search on Etsy to find it. Um, all right, you guys. So now I have tons of packs of pens and I think I'm actually gonna save 
these three packs for next time because there's two things that I've really been dying to get into. So we're going to save these. I actually saw these on TikTok, so I think I'll save that maybe for like a TikTok stationary video. These Crayola Take Note products trend all the time, and these are some Friction Pilot erasable pens. If you guys know, I do love to swatch the pens, but I don't know. I don't want to get too rushed, and I feel like this has been a pretty long video already. So what I'm going to do is set up a second camera angle and we're gonna look at these today because they I I think that this is a new shade range for jelly roll it's moonlight but I swear these were called yeah these are called um earth and jewel tone colors and I swear I thought I had every single shade of jelly roll that there's ever been and maybe I have had these before, but because they like maybe repackaged them, like these certain colors of pens, like in this family. So maybe it looks a little different to me. I don't know. Uh, also the Boss, 50 years of happy highlights. So I think that this is every single shade of the Stabilo Boss highlighters that there has ever been. And you guys, I'm honestly like so shocked, not shocked happy. I'm happy that this exists because I do feel like the boss highlighters, like the packaging or maybe the font face they use has changed over the years, but I used to love, these were like my favorite supplies. I used to go to work with my mom, like to her office sometimes on the weekends and I got to play with all the pens and pencils and highlighters. I feel like that's where my love for stationery began, but I distinctly remember Stebulo Boss highlighters. I've always loved them. So I am getting our little swatching pad ready, second camera angle ready, and we shall start swatching. All right, you guys, I tried to film uh, the pin swatching in a more satisfying ASMR way, but then I realized I have this jingly earring on. So that probably doesn't make any sense. Uh, overall, I really do like these jewel tone colors. Some of the shades really surprised me. I'm kind of not that surprised that I love this like royal blue shade. Very beautiful. I did go through one by one and show you guys like which pen was which ink. Some of them though, I was a little bit shocked that I kind of had to like write with them twice. Overall, I was like shocked by this because I thought maybe it was going to be like one of those kind of more disappointing pen experiences where we wouldn't be able to see it like at all on just a regular white piece of paper. But I would argue like in person it actually looks like a deeper shade of green than the cap would lead you to believe but I did have to write with it twice there were a couple of them that I had to prime twice but also I don't know if you guys remember I swear jelly roll used to always have those like little gel things that you had to like pull off of the top to start writing with the pen but these I just took off the cap and they were like ready to go. Uh, so yeah, overall, I really do love them. And I feel like for me personally, it's kind of a contrast of what I normally think of with Jelly Roll. And I guess it's just cause in the past, I normally buy a lot of the neon colors. Anyway, you guys, here are our beautiful highlighters. I just unboxed them, but how satisfying is this? magical color spectrum. So I'm just going to go through one by one and once again show you guys the highlighter and then show you guys a swatch and I'm going to try and first of all open it. Why am I struggling? Why is this so, why is this so difficult to open? Um, I'm going to try and see if I can like just cram them all on here. Let's see how different these two shades are on paper. See, I guess that's why I could like just do this on a second camera angle. Uh, cause I don't, oh, ooh, that's like surprising. I don't know that I have that much like commentary. I'm more just like surprised by how beautiful they look right when I take them out of the box. Now I have to say, well, you know what? 
I don't see red. I swear we bought a Stabilo red highlighter before because I had like a red and a gray highlighter and I thought gray was just such an interesting color for a highlighter to be. So I'm not sure if this is every single shade like I thought that it would be, but I do love these like pastel sherbet shades. Very interesting, you guys. Is anybody keeping count? How many have we done already? Are we halfway there? Um, I feel like, unfortunately, I'm probably not. Oh, that's like a bright yellow. I almost said it's like a highlighter yellow color. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit them all in a line. Um, ooh, that's a very pretty shade. This looks like it's like a mint green. So let me try and fix that. You guys, I'm either talking or concentrating. I'm not doing both. Um, ooh. Okay, that one and that one look so similar. This one looks like it could be gray, but it's kind of a lilac, I would argue. Oh my gosh, you guys. I needed to do a little bit better spacing <laughs> earlier on. Three left. Ooh, I feel like I bought that one before as well. Oh, okay. Last one, you guys. Ta-da! All 23 shades. Very beautiful, very lovely. I feel like some of them um, appeared like much more faint when I first swatched them, but now that the ink has fully dried, I feel like they're all very vibrant. Um, I feel like this kind of like nuanced color shade difference is perfect for people that love doing a monochromatic color scheme. Like for me, I'm always like gravitating towards every fuchsia and magenta thing I can find. So I feel like in my Hobonichi, it would, you could tell a big difference between one color, one product and the next, just because like in a sea of fuchsia and magenta, it's fun to have those slightly lighter, slightly deeper shades. But yeah, overall, you guys, I love it. There's not a single item today that I don't like. I am looking forward to loading up my glow in the dark pin. So I think, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of torn. Maybe you guys can let me know. Would you like a video like where I'm actually filling up the pins and testing them out? Or like maybe in the next stationary video, do you guys already want me to have filled up the pen and then we can just write with it? Let me know. Let me know about that. And if any product really stuck out to you guys today, if you're looking forward to the advent calendar and everything else in between. Are you also a Hobonichi planner person or is there another brand out there that you like even better than that? Let me know as usual all you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is gonna be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.